Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today at a very loud and very sunny Silverstone. I'm here for Jamie and Fisty Gas, the Gaston track event. Awesome day, there's tons to do. The drifters are about to go out, but let's just head on into one of the paddocks here where we of course have Chris's GR Yaris. This car has of course been on the channel before. It has changed quite a lot, so we had to get it back on the channel and do an update because this thing is arguably one of the craziest GR Yaris's in the world. A massive turbo sidewinder now fitted to the car. This car now runs 692 wheel horsepower. That equates to, I believe, around approximately 800 horsepower from a three cylinder. This car still has, albeit a fully forged engine, it still has the three cylinder. This car also now has a sequential. So opening the car up, we can see the X shift sequential gearbox in there. This car also has the paddles as well. So you can uh, change gear sequentially or with the paddles. This car now has a nitrous kit too. You can see mounted to the half page and a ton of other supporting mods. Very loud, obviously, because the uh, drift cars are going out on track. But this thing is an absolute animal. 692 wheel horsepower, around 800 brake horsepower. Now running uh, RAAA R tires and a ton of other modifications. Still wearing the same wrap, so visually, apart from the wheels, does look uh, quite similar. But yeah, this thing is an absolute machine. So of course, we will catch up with Chris. We can run through basically the new additions to the car before going out on track here at Silverstone for the Gaston Track event here at Silverstone. Okay, we're joined now with Chris, mate. Thank you so much for sparing a little bit of time out your day here at Silverstone to get this beast back on the channel. Starting off under the front, <laughs> we have a big old Sidewinder Turbo. Um, yeah, talk us through it basically, what, what we're looking at. Okay, so you may have seen from the last video, I was running a 660 G25. I'm now running a Precision 5862 Sidewinder Turbo. Complete setup and turbo engine build mm -hmm. uh, was completed by SRD tuning, so yep. obviously bigger wastegates. Yes. Uh, yeah. Bigger fuel lines, mm -hmm. uh, bigger inlet, uh, yeah. lamp speed uh, yeah. manifold inlet, mm -hmm. X shift seven speed sequential gearbox, which you may just yeah. see somewhere down, in there. down there yeah. uh, with air shift. So it allows me to run lever and paddles. Nitrous for a bit <laughs> yeah. of fun. As you do. As you do. As you do. Uh, so the nitrous is run on a constant if on. So basically, yeah. nitrous bottles on, mm -hmm. it's on. Yeah. Okay. Uh, nitrous bottles off, it's off. Yeah. Okay. I didn't want the button, or they, yeah. SRD said no button. Mm -hmm. It's not fast and furious. <laughs> it will be used yeah. for what it's used. Yeah. Land speed racing billet engine mounts. Okay. Uh, for, yeah. Because obviously there was a lot of movement. Okay. Um, I think everything else was covered yeah. in the last video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But some pretty substantial things. I was, I was going to come in here and show everyone the uh, the sequential, and I thought, ah, the, the seats, seats as well. Of course. Very yeah. nice seats. Um, so obviously had um, Recaro pole positions, which mm -hmm. are an incredible seat. Yeah. Um, really like them. But honestly, I just liked the style of a race seat. It's not a show car anymore. I've done mm -hmm. that last year. I want to get track time in, yeah. and I just felt these were a lot more um, suited, apart from being fat, trying to get in and out of them. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Ash, over there, who built the car, yeah. he can quite <laughs> happily tell you a lot more about the build, yeah. and tell you how my driving is, uh, let's say, uh, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> well, you enjoy it, and I, I enjoy it. being Rest out on track. likes the paddle shift, yeah. so I do. to down change too many times, <laughs> yeah. so we're getting around there. I paid for it, so I'm using it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair play, but obviously the wrap is the same. Yeah, the last video we did. Yeah, um, so that's the same. Uh, the wheels are new though. Uh, yes, yeah, so obviously are, uh, cool. West Forge uh, custom-made alloy wheels. Yeah, um, the style of the WRCs, which yeah. I couldn't buy yeah. even like the TGR ones. I prefer yeah. these personally. So you just made your own, basically. Yeah. Very the cool. The other thing that you may I can't remember if we had the three exhausts at the rear. We didn't. No. Uh, so we didn't. yeah, now we're running a valve SRD tuning built valve system. Uh, freeway cool. exit. Um, but yeah, still wide body as well, so obviously yeah. aesthetic wise it still looks absolutely crazy, same wing as before, but as I said, a lot of the kind of tiny little bits we did mention um, in the main video that we did, or the initial video that we did, but uh, yeah, I had to get this thing back on the channel because uh, it's, it's got to be one of the craziest, if not the craziest 
GR in the world, I reckon. It's got to be. I think, yeah, you're nodding your head. You, you know it is. I'm not saying anything anymore. <laughs> someone, will, someone will comment that it's, no, it's not. Yeah. Someone will comment that telling my wife how much I've spent. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, but yeah, no, it's an absolutely epic thing. And so I think, yeah, we'll hop in, get it fired up and go do some laps here at Silverstone. Instagram link down below but that is it for me today I hope you guys have enjoyed if you have 
please do make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures still to come.